Ah, Oga Boss. Monica, even you. MD, how dare you bash into my office like that? Are you drunk? Oga Manager, no verse. It was a mistake. Will you get out of here now before I descend on you? Sorry, sir. See, baby, it's like you don't know me. Oh. The person standing before you is a husband material, infinity yards. In fact, I am the only husband material. Other men are just building material. If you accept to be my baby, <laughs> that means you have accepted to be the minister for enjoyment and happiness. See, baby, eh? as I am here now, Dan Gote, the richest man in Africa, is my friend. Yesterday, he called me on phone. But I refuse to pick his call. <laughs> Do you know why I refuse to pick his call? Because I rented his private jet. So he called to tell me to return it. That's why I refuse to pick call. <laughs> I know you are shocked. It shock you, Abby. But don't worry. You don't need to be shocked. I don't want to return the private jet yet. Because I will use it and fly you around the world. Baby, have you gone to Damascus before? <laughs> I know you have not, but don't worry, I will take you to Damascus. From there, we will visit Jericho, and from Jericho, we will go straight to Egypt, so you can go and see the Red Sea. Ah, baby, you have not said a word since. Hope all is well. Chai, nah, eh, the way this gay just walked out on me, eh, it's as if I don't have future. Or more, it's like toasting a girl is not my calling. I won't toast any lady again in my life. Ah, which kind of frustration is this? It's like all these ladies want me to die as a single man. Selei Jesha. Selei Jesha, last bus stop. Enter with your change, oh. 1,500 oil tau. Sele, sele, sele. Sele, Jesha. 100 naira boss. Enter, let's go. One more chance. Sele. Ah, Omo. Today is a very bad day. Oh. I have not even seen one passenger. Omo. What is happening now? Sele, sele, sele. Sele, Jesha. 100 naira boss. Hello, good day, brother. My name is Dr. Silas Tony Vicent, but you can call me DSTV. I am here to sell a book to you. The name of this book is Ewo, So You Are Still Poor. Eh? Mr. DSTV, what do you say the name of the book is? I said the name is Ewo, So You Are Still Poor. I am the author of this book. The word Ewo is just an exclamation. And why I added that exclamation is because I don't believe we still have poor people in this country. In this book, I have written down 1,001 ways to become a millionaire. See, when you finish reading this book, you won't do bus conductor job again. This book will give you the knowledge to make your first 1 million naira. Eh. Uh -huh. now, this was the same book that Bill Gates read, and today he's a billionaire. After reading this book, Making money will never be a problem to you. Me that is talking to you right now. I started making money at the age of three. Now, I don't make money again. Rather, I own a machine that makes money. You are free to call me MMM, Money Making Machine. How much is the book? The book is just 100 naira. Just 100 naira? That is not even up to one dollar. If not that I'm in a good mood today, I would have said thunder fire you. But I don't need to waste my thunder on you. You are selling a book on how to become a millionaire, and yet, you are still poor. Hey! You think poverty now your mate? I beg, vamos from here now. No, 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 nonsense. MD, you are not just serious at all. <laughs> I'm serious, oh. Once I clock 40 and no lady agrees to marry me, 
I will just go straight to become a reverend father or a doctor. Did I hear you say doctor? Yes, da. What's there? That's not possible. Do you have any certificate? Do I need to have a certificate before I become a doctor? Sorry. Which doctor are you talking about? Medical doctor or a native doctor? If I can't become a medical doctor, then native doctor will not be a bad idea. After all, people will be bringing chicken and goats for sacrifice. MD, you need deliverance. A serious deliverance. Your village people are really following you. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, my love. Meet my friend. MD, meet Monica, my wife-to-be. Monica, meet my friend, MD. Well done, no oh, short nika. Um, sorry, Monica. MD, I have to be somewhere now. I was about to leave him before you came. Monica, please give my friend food and make sure he eats before leaving. Please, I need to go now. I'm already running late. So you think I won't tell my friend about you? Tell him what? Your secret affairs with the manager. But that was in the past. Don't worry, I will tell him. I know my friend very well. He will pursue you out of his house. MD, what do you want from me? I want my own share. You know that's not possible. Then I will tell him. Let's see who loses. MD, don't do this to me. If you don't want me to tell him, then allow me to do the same thing you did with the manager. Then I will close this chapter forever and never to tell it to my friend. MD, why are you doing this? Are you in or should I tell him? What? What the hell is going on here? MD. Monica. Ah, I can't take this. Caleb, no verse, please. It's not what you think. Please, I can explain. Explain what? What gibberish explanation do you have? I regret the day I knew the both of you. So this is what has been going on under my roof? If not that I forgot something and decided to come pick it up, I wouldn't have seen this wicked act. Monica, you are very wicked. It is over between us. And for you, MD, never step those your two left legs in my house. Caleb, see you in our next video. Please, like this video, share it, Subscribe to our channel, which is Mr. Caleb Tunes. You can get us on Facebook at Mr. Caleb or Mr. Caleb Tunes. See you in our next video. Thank you and God bless you.